Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor coming to you from an undisclosed bunker where the entire of the internet has been printed out in hard copy form because seeing how the rest of 2016 shook out, I figure this is my best chance. Happy New Year everybody! I'm still working on the Christmas scripture tree project that I started on. I've only, I'm only two ornaments away from the end. And as I was working on it, I realized the horse that I was working on started out as a cube. So technically, 3D block zoo, right? So I thought I'd record that process and show it to you guys uh, just as a fun little video to end out the new year. I'm still working on 3D printing 101. That's going to continue into the new year, and I hope it helps a lot of people, especially people who are getting a 3D printer for the first time. So, uh, yeah, recommend that to your friends and everybody. If, if that's helping you, uh, I hope you check it out. But let's go check out my not 3D block zoo horse. So here we go, starting out with a cube, uh, just like every 3D block zoo. But because I'm doing this in Blender, uh, I immediately go into edit mode and start messing with the vertices, which is where I think it, it This is why it's not 3D block. Uh, bring in a picture in the background for reference. Then I, I extrude it out, give it dimension, the whole thing. I'm just going to speed up this process a little bit, extrude it out, give it dimension, fiddle with the, uh, uh, add a mess smooth modifier to get rid of the sharp corners, and, and fiddle with the shape a little bit to make it match the picture as best as possible. Once I get that to a point where I think it's about as good as it's going to go, I go into sculpt mode. Now, this is going to take a little while. Sculpt mode always is just a, it's just a, a brush stroke at a time to make it look good, but uh, the results are, they speak for themselves, they're fantastic. I've got dynamic topology on, of course, i got to make sure that I've got my, my mirroring done right. Uh, and then, uh, as the sculpt mode continues, uh, I'm just working from the nose to the back. Um, and this is going to be printed very small. The next thing I do is I pull in another cube, see? This was so that it would print laying down, so I made the legs go all the way to the build plane, which isn't accurate. I could make this to be more accurate looking for us and make it print standing up. But this is, this is, in the end, this is going to be real tiny, but I love that most of these ornaments that I'm making, I look at them and I go, oh yeah, I could use that somewhere else. Each of them is, is a work unto themselves. I feel like it's going to be a library.
just messed with them. Decidedly not member of the 3D block zoo of that horse. I hope that you enjoyed that little romp through a modeling project. I hope that you're having a happy new year. And uh, I will see you guys in 2017, where hopefully we have more wonderful successes in our life. As always, safety first, and I'll see you next time. No, here we go. So, uh, not so more. I, I say so, so many times.